Hello and welcome. In the previous lecture, we learned about what is imbalanced data set, what is resampling and how the SMOT works. In this lecture, we are going to implement SMOT using Azure ML Studio. So let's get started. All right, here we are. I have already uploaded a data set for this purpose called Loan SMOT, which you can download from the course material section. Let's visualize it first. It has got 100 rows and 13 columns. Let's go to the loan status column. And as you can see, it has got 11 observations for no and 89 for yes. 11 observations is not a minority per se, but we are simply trying to understand here how the SMOT is implemented. Let me go back and bring the SMOT module on the canvas. You can search for it and drag and drop it onto the canvas as we have done in the past. Make the right connections. So let's look at the parameters this module requires. First is the label column, which in our case is the loan status. Let me launch the column selector select loan status and click OK. All right, the second parameter is the SMOT percentage. A hundred percent here would mean we want equal number of observations to be added. So if we had 11 numbers, the SMOT percentage of 100 will add another 11 observations. So let's keep it to 100%. Second parameter is how many nearest neighbors we want. As we have seen in the previous lecture, by increasing the nearest neighbors, you get features from more cases. So let's keep it to default. Let's keep the random number seed as 1, 2, 3 and let's run it. All right, it has run successfully and it's time to visualize it. As you can see, the total number of rows have now increased to 111 from the original 100 because there were 11 numbers in the original data set and we added 100% SMOT percentage points to the new one. And the loan status now has 22 rows with no. Let me show you how the data has been transformed and which records have been added here. For that, I'm going to pause the video and add a couple of more steps to this experiment, run them and come back to you. All right, what I have just done here is I have added a split data module with splitting mode as regular expression and selected all rows with loan status starting with n. The result data set of the split module is then converted to CSV so that I can download it. Let's now go to the CSV file and compare our results. All right, I have done some sorting of records and some color coding to show the comparison. The green rows are the original ones here. And as you can see for the record LP001047, it has added two new rows. While the values of some of the features are same, the values for numeric variables and the property area are different here. Similarly, for this particular record, you see different values for different observations. If we had to do this on our own, it would have taken much more time and without any guarantee of whether the result would be same or not. You can use SMOT for almost all the datasets with imbalanced categorical feature for target variable. 
once you have created such a data set you can then proceed with the rest of the steps of the model building i hope that has explained what is smart and how we can implement it in this lecture we used a data set of loan implemented smart with 100% replication and one nearest neighbor after that we created 11 additional or synthetic observations from the existing set of records that concludes this lecture on smart implementation thank you so much for joining me in this one and i will see you soon in the next class until then enjoy your time